process of doing that now. Didn't want everything by to think I just dropped out of sight or just ghosted on you, so. Well, I'm restarting the laptop and we'll get it straightened out. I thought I'd come on using my phone. So yeah, the plan is to get back into my regular schedule, trying to get on here most nights to take prayer requests. Like I said, my laptop went all buggy on me. So, Just hope things look better tomorrow. Right. And Father God, we thank you for all the healing you've given KCJ. We thank you that she continues to heal more day by day. And Father God, for Rick, we just request that his heart be made new, healthy, and strong, so he no longer needs that pacemaker. That his ears will be restored, renewed, and made healthy and whole. And Father, for the family vacation that Rick was wanting to take, Father, we just pray that they find the find adequate lodging in plenty of time so they can make that trip. So they can spend time with his family. Father, we just continue to ask that you draw Tim's family to your son Jesus for salvation. Father, for Chris and Tina, we just ask you to give them wisdom and discernment in the process of buying a home and of them getting moved into that home. Well, thank you that you've guided them to a home. So, Father, we just, we just plan Mary's heart to be made strong and new function perfectly according to the design Jesus has given you. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, I heard my computer make that noise before. So yeah, if anybody's got a prayer request before I go, Type in the chat now, and I'll go ahead and pray for you while I'm still here. Let's see, we've got three views. Let's see. No, still can't do that. All right. I'm going to wait just a little bit longer. Let me do any prayer requests. 
Oh, and if, if you all could put an amen on the end of the prayer that I prayed, I'd sure appreciate that. Well, Tim here, I'm going to go ahead and shut this down if I don't have a prayer request. Oh, welcome to those who just came in. If you've got a prayer request, go ahead and type in the chat. I'll pray for you. Hey, blessings, Nass. Good to see you. Just getting ready to close it down, but if you've got a prayer request, go ahead and type it in the chat. I'll pray for you before I go. Well, people are starting to come in here now. Prayer for healing. All right. So, Father God, we come to you on behalf of Ness. I don't know what ailment or injury she has, but I command her to be healed now in the name of Jesus. I don't even have to know what it is because God knows what it is. And he's the one that does the healing. Jesus name. Amen. Right. You're welcome. Always happy to be able to help. Hey Michael, good to see you. Blessings. Well, the same prayer request before I go. You're moving. <laughs> oh boy, that's always fun. I like a root canal. <laughs> Hopefully, you're going to a better. Yeah. Father God, we kill you on behalf of Ness. And we just ask that you give her. <laughs> Excuse me. Well, we just ask that you give Ness favor in this move. There'd be no unnecessary challenges or difficulties. The things would go smoothly. And everything would be in order and organized. And everything would get to where it needs to be when it needs to be there. With no damage or loss. In Jesus' name. Amen. Hey, welcome, Ness. Hands and feet. All right. Well, I've got to come to you on behalf of Michael. Father, we thank you for the blood of your son, Jesus, that he shed on that cross and paid for not only our sins, but for our healing, past, present, and future. Of every ailment, malady, infirmity, sickness, or disease that we've ever had in the past, have now, or will ever have in the future, the healing of it is already paid for. Hands and feet be pain free, be pain free in the name of Jesus. Command all the pain to get out now in Jesus' name. In 
for that tingling to stop. Man, everything that could be in his body, every toxin, anything that's causing adverse effects, I command it be gone now, be rendered inert, null and void, in Jesus' name, amen. Forward some praise reports on these. Any more prayer requests, go ahead and type those in the chat. I'm going to try to get back on here tomorrow night, hopefully. Hopefully I'll get on here a little better time. And hopefully tomorrow night my FIFA computer will work right. They're messing up on me again. So, that's for the opinion on that laptop, I just need to restart it before I do a broadcast. Just shut it down and do a restart every time. It seems like when I do that, it seems like it works a lot better. Well, I suppose you don't have any more prayer requests. I'm going to go ahead and call it a night, go get some sleep. Oh, all right. So, Father, God, we come to you on behalf of Ness. Father, we just ask for favor and mercy with those who have written her up and those who are judging judging her performance, making decisions based about what disciplinary action should be taken. Father, we just ask for mercy and favor. In Jesus' name, amen. Uh, picking on the new girl, huh? Seems to be an old story happened to a lot of people. If you're the new person in the place, they pick on you. The only reason they can think of is because you're new. Gonna have to let them see the Jesus in you.
1 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 12. And we labor, labor working with our own hands. Being reviled, we bless. Being persecuted, we endure. Being defamed, we entreat. We have been made to, made as the filth of the world, the off-scouring of all things until now. Hey, how's it going, Natasha? Too good to see you. Wow, 25 views already. <laughs> I didn't expect that. Blessings. And I looked down for just a minute or two to look up this verse. <laughs> and then here everybody shows up. I thought I was going to get to sneak out of here and go to bed. So yeah, if anybody's got a prayer request, go ahead and type it in the chat, and I'll pray for you. I think I'm just going to read this whole page. Just start at verse 1, go verse 1 through 21. So that shouldn't take too long. Let a man so consider us as servants of Christ and stewards of the mysteries of God. Moreover, it is required in stewards that one be found faithful. Be with me, it is a very small thing that I should be judged by you or by a human court. In fact, I do not even judge myself. For I know of nothing against myself, yet I am not justified by this. He who judges me is the Lord. Oh yeah, I can do that. So Father God, we come to you on behalf of Natasha. Father, we thank you that the blood Jesus shed on that cross has already paid for her healing. Well, I command that ring in her ears get out now and never return. By the blood of Jesus and in the name of Jesus. Amen. Therefore, judge nothing before the time until the Lord comes, who will both bring light to the hidden things of the darkness and reveal the counsels of the hearts. Then each one's praise will come from God. Now these things, brethren, I have figuratively transferred to myself and Apollos for your sakes, that you may lean in us, learn in us not to think beyond what is written, that none of you may be puffed up on behalf of one against the other. For who makes you differ from one another? And what do you have that you did not receive? Now, if you did indeed receive it, why do you boast as if you had not received it? You are already full. You are already rich. You have reigned as kings without us. And indeed, I wish you did reign, that we also might reign with you. For I think that God has displayed us, the apostles, last as men condemned to death. For we have been made a spectacle to the world, both to angels and to men. We are fools for Christ's sake, but you are wise in Christ. We are weak, but you are strong. You are distinguished, but we are dishonored. To the present hour, we both hunger and thirst, and we are poorly clothed and beaten and homeless. And we labor working with our own hands. Being reviled, we bless. Being persecuted, we endure. Being defamed, we entreat. We have been made as the filth of the world, the off-scouring of all things until now. I do not write these things to shame you, but as my beloved children, I warn you. 
For though you might have 10,000 instructors in Christ, yet you do not have many fathers. For in Christ Jesus I have begotten you through the gospel. Therefore I urge you, imitate me. For this reason I have sent Timothy to you, who is my beloved and faithful son in the Lord, who will remind you of my ways in Christ, as I teach everywhere in every church. Now some are puffed up as though I were not coming to you, but I will come to you shortly, if the Lord wills, and I will know, not the word of those who are puffed up, but the power. For the kingdom of God is not in word, but in power. What do you want? Shall I come to you with a rod, or in love and a spirit of gentleness? All right, so any more prayer requests, go ahead and type those in. That way I can pray for you. Any prayer requests at all, go ahead and type those in the chat so I can pray for you before I leave. It's about my bedtime anyway. I don't want to leave you guys hanging if you got a prayer request. Oh, you're welcome. That's what I'm here for. Going pretty good, making some good progress. Been getting some good rain. Hey, blessings, Tori. Anybody's got a prayer request, go ahead and type it in the chat. On just a second, I'll be right back. And I'm back. Let 
welcome to those who just came in. If you've got a prayer request, go ahead and type in the chat and I'll pray for you. Well, I'm doing pretty good. A little tired, but that's nothing new. I don't see any more prayer requests coming in. It is 12.30 here, about 12.32 right now. So I'm going to go ahead and call it a night, I guess. I'm going to try to be back on tomorrow night. Hopefully things will look a little better. I think I'm going to restart my laptop before I start the broadcast. Seems like in times past when I've done that, it ran a lot smoother. So I don't have to come back on the phone to try to finish up. But I appreciate everyone who came in tonight. And thank you for your prayer requests and allowing me to pray for you. I hope to see everybody on this next broadcast. And I just pray that everybody gets a peaceful, regenerated sleep and wakes up refreshed in the morning.